Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix online meeting number 144 on the day after Valentine's Day. I hope you guys didn't do anything and just hung out with those people you love because that's what it's all about. Anyway, uh, these meetings are recorded for those of you that aren't able to be here with us right now. Let's go ahead and move into the agenda. It's going to be a short agenda again, um, and in the comments I'll make a comment about that. But let's go do triage. Bob, you ready? Ready. All right. Oops, I forgot to do the correct thing here. We were just talking about sleep deprivation. I am doing that. Okay, and I've lost the mouse cursor. Lovely. There we go. Okay. Local user. I can't hit that dismiss thing. Oh, look at that. I got it. All right. Um, local user created by MSI package is absent after major upgrade. Oh. Yeah, this one actually turned out to be kind of interesting. Um, the problem is that remove user is a commit custom action, and scheduling of remove existing products matters for that. Mm, that's interesting. Yeah, it surprised me, but um, this is the the downside to early major upgrades. We've always treated them well. I mean, in Wix and personally, I've always you know early major upgrade. It's perfect it's you know blah 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 uh, but you know it's part of a transaction and uh, well hey look at this we just revealed one reason why that matters uh, I, the, I don't have a fix for this no I don't think a fix is possible as long as remove users a commit custom action and you know and it's a remove it's a commit custom action because it's you can't you can't roll back the removal of a user. Yeah, which means the alternative is something goes wrong and you have no user. Yeah. That's a question of, is that better? Right. It's, yeah. Um, kind of terrifying that we have to make that choice. Right. <laughs> well, uh, do you know off the top of your head, commit custom actions, are they executed if rollback is disabled? Uh, Okay. Yeah, I just I don't remember off the top of my head either. I, I don't. Um, uh, there there is something that's not committed if that, but I don't know that it's commit trust custom actions that get tossed. Okay. So uh, that that would be one reason to you know to switch to a normal deferred CA, but otherwise, yeah, I, I would argue that remove user being a commit custom action is probably the best. Not to say it's you know 100 percent right, but it's probably the best that you can do given. Limitations. Yep. Okay. Um, so I kind of waffled, but I ended up on maybe we should just be documenting this. Not my favorite solution, but. Yeah, I, I think we need to. I mean, I, I. At the very least, we need to document it, yeah. If we make it very, very late. Would that solve it? Make it a normal deferred CA, but late? Yeah, like, not quite a commit custom action. Before install finalized. Just the before install finalized. Would that solve the problem? Or be the, would that be a better workaround? Ugh. Well, it would solve the problem for major upgrades, I think. From Thanks. what I can tell from the logs, the only reason this is happening is that the the launching the upgrading product um, sorry the the commit CA of the upgraded product is happening during the yeah during the uh, um, sorry the a after after the um, I can't tell really if it's like part of the commit overall or if it's a separate phase it feels like it's Busted! It's like the, yeah. it's it's I it, definitely unexpected. Oh, well, I, no, I guess it doesn't really matter whether it's first or second from the parent because it's still after the creation that the parent did. Yeah, right. right, right, right. Yeah, because the commits are saved, so you yeah, so you start the removal, but it doesn't happen. You start the removal of the child very early in the transition of the parent. Right. And then you get to the end of the parent, you've created the user, or what, 
whatever. And then you finish the commit of the child, and at that point, it's like, oh, I got to remove my user, and then the world goes dark. Yep, yep that's exactly what's what's happening from the logs. And again, I think it feels to me like it's that there is a single commit phase, um, or at least a single phase during something where commit CAs run. Yeah, well, I mean, but it doesn't. I mean, that's what it's going to do, and it doesn't matter because the commit of the child is going to be um, before the or after, probably before the commit of the parent. But it's still after the transaction of the parent, which means that this is toast anyway. So. If well, the, the child, the, if it was not a commit custom action, then it would finish, it would delete it, you would get the user. So in that case, then... Then the parent product would create the user and everything would be fine. Yeah, unless you roll back. Well... Unless the parent had a failure, then the child would have gotten rid of the user. Yeah, see, there, that's then that's where it moves. So if you move it just before install finalized, then when the parent, should the parent fail during the upgrade, the child will roll back, but it won't be able to create its, the user, at least not yeah. the same user, and then you end up with nothing. Or you end up, yeah, well, you don't end up with the right user on the machine anymore. Um this a matter of needing to rough count and only remove the parent component is gone I ain't checking the commit no because this is early so the the child's going to remove the component and the parent's going to add it back so which is the behavior you want by doing an early removal which allows you to generally avoid the issues with the component rules so this isn't a rough count issue not that way So now the question is, if the failure case is better than, so, so if the parent upgrade fails, rolls back the child, and the child doesn't recreate the user, because it already deleted it, is that better than this scenario here that we're dealing with? Did I lose everybody? No, it's just I don't think there's I don't think there is an answer. No, I'm trying to pick the lesser of two evils. Yeah, I'm trying to determine the lesser of two evils. Yeah, I, I kind of agree with Jacob. The you know the the fact that this happens, um. You know, in kind of a, you know, a more it's more it's more common to you know pick a uh, pick an early major upgrade um, than it is to you know run into a failure when you're creating users and you know actually care. Um, the only thing I'm you know somewhat happy about is that. The install validate timing works, um, and that's the default. The child transaction completes com completely before the parent. Right. Install initialized is the beginning of the parent. The, yeah. the execution phase, yeah. so it's outside the transaction. Um. Now, of course, that said. <laughs> um, after install initialize is the only way that you get a proper rollback, right? And after install validate is quote unquote best for flexibility, mm -hmm. but if you fail, you end up with nothing on the machine. Right, exactly. If you fail in the parent, you end up with nothing on the machine, or or the child. Mm -hmm. no, the child, child will roll back. The child will roll back. Oh, that's okay. You're right. You're right. But if you fail in the parent after the child has done its thing, then... 
if you fail in the parent's transaction, the child is already gone and it's not coming back. Right. So this, so the one option that I've not thought through all the way is to move delete users just before install finalize. Right. And well, that guarantees that a every rollback. But it means that every rollback is, or sorry, every failure, including outside the context of upgrades, is going to be missing the user. It won't be a it won't be a true rollback. Yeah, but yeah, I mean, yes, it means yeah. that a rollback of <laughs> it will not work um, in nested transactions. Well, not even nested is where I'm going. If we move it to, you know, before it's all finalized, then a rollback of a new package will not. Right. If you get to the, just to, if you get to just at install finalize, yeah. Yeah. But the idea is that by putting it right before install finalize, you minimize the chances that there's yes. a failure after the point at which you delete the users. Yes. And this is. Some form of setup gambling that we're talking about. Yeah, I, this is this is balancing the worst of or the best of two yeah. evils. Neither of these is good. So, <laughs> right. which one do we like better? Yeah, um, and the semantics shouldn't change if we do that. And but probably most people wouldn't really care anyway, right? It's not mm -hmm. like you're going to. Yeah, it, and I'm trying to think if there's something that I'm not thinking of. Right, um, right, right. I, I don't, can't think of it. I mean, it's not like the user was deleted any earlier in the past, so that's right. not going to be an issue. Yep. Um, it does mean that if you have before, if you have custom actions scheduled before install finalize, you may end up with them having the user deleted where they weren't before. That's possible. Right, because we can't guarantee that we're the last thing before install finalize. If people say before install finalize, correct. But if you cared, yeah. you arguably should have said before remove users anyway. So. Well, um, yes, but people. Uh, this is the setup gambling I'm talking about. You know, the, the whole, um, yeah, let's just do it as late as possible to avoid or to minimize the risks yep. of something else going wrong because we don't properly well, support rollback. This is clearly a Wix 4 thing. Um, oh, this is a, yeah, this is a change. <laughs> um, I think we should put it in Wix 4 and, and Wix 4.0 and make sure 4 we review this. And, and yeah. make sure that we review this before we ship to make a final decision. I agree. And we probably should tag it as a doc bug as well for Wix 3. Okay, that's fair. That's not going to get fixed. Luckily, there's an easy workaround. Uh, easy, yeah. Well, yeah. Trade-offs. Yep. Well, this is that's a workaround. This, this is cool. Hey. All right. Okay. Kind of a fundamental thing we haven't had in a while. Yeah, we haven't had something where we all had to kind of sit and think about it for a while and going, well, what's that going to do to you? <laughs> Uh, and users are particularly interesting because you can't recreate them. Right. The same one. All right, moving on. I want to say this is the only commit CA we have, so uh, I don't know if that's yes. true. But I yes used to have something. Uh, okay. But that I don't think it does. I don't. I don't have to go look. Um, the file hyperlink string this click install continue capitalization seems inconsistent with the buttons. Why not capitalize install an option setup well. Oh. I don't know. I think we should. Do you, do you agree? Yeah. All right. Well, let's toss it in 4X and someone can fix it. Or 4O if you want to do it, or anybody else wants to sign through it right now. Yeah, I'll take it. There we go. That affects chaining. Came across chaining package. Concern that the default experience is to transmit the bundle name to MSFT without any documentation or opt in, opt out available to the setup developer. Huh? So, the chain package passes along Wix bundle name. Okay. 
Um, so it ends up in their telemetry. Is that what it's doing? Um, I I don't know my, if that's true. I, I don't know either. Um, um, however, the .NET Framework redistributable, I have it on good authority. Hmm. Um, mine um, that it, it absolutely respects the various settings that apply for telemetry. Um, so the only way anything gets transmitted is if um, the machine has been opted in. OK. I, I, this is all so about conjecture. I, I, I don't even know that that's true. So my understanding, I thought chaining package had a bunch of other benefits. So I don't, I don't know. I don't know that it has other benefits. All right. Well, I, mean, I suppose it's worth looking at to see if there's. Let's put this in 4x, and if he wants to go or she wants to go run down what it is or is not actually doing, then we can do that. Right, we're not going to do an opt in, opt out. Either we're going to do it or we're not. Um, if it doesn't add any value, then we can yank it. If it adds value, then we probably should keep it um, and just go from there. Okay. I'm fine with that. So yeah, I. Let's not guess what it does. Let's go figure out what it really does. It, the .NET Framework team gave it to us, so that's why it's there. Right. Um, unable to use insignia. Oh, he just fixed it. All right, whatever. That was not an issue. Heat directory will use x64 as a name. It shouldn't do that. Um, and he's doing suppressed unique ID, and that's his problem. And, oh, right. Otherwise, the directory would get a... But, but Heat could do this fix, too. So let's put it in 4X and go, yeah, no, I should handle that better, and someone could fix it in 4X. In suppressed unique ID, do that. It might actually have a couple already. I remember something like this before. Yeah, I do, but too. That's time, kind of... I think. Okay, yeah, yeah. Because we had time as one, and it was actually putting the time in the file system, which is the weirdest cool. thing ever. Yeah, sort of. No, was it creating a time folder the root or something? I don't remember. It was weird. Because <laughs> it's essentially taking over and saying, oh, this directory is now this number of time. And it was weird. Actually, I think it was just failing. All right, cool. That is triage, I think. Questions, comments? So, um, as is the things, I've just been pulled back into lots of busyness myself lately after making really good progress in 4X and will be for the next month or so. So that slowed down my progress a bit. Um, but I am I am eager to get back to it. Um, so it's just a slowdown, and but things were going so well before that. Uh, anyway, um, so... And Wix 4 is just like... The, the most frustrating part of that was for is that I had it almost on the edge where other people could start doing stuff and then I got pulled off of it. So I didn't quite get far enough to make it easy for people to jump in. Um, so for that, I apologize and I will be into it again by end of March or something like that. Um, Jacob and Sean were running around with that burn uh, parallel caching thing. I haven't seen a lot of discussion on it lately. Do you guys have anything going on there or stuck or otherwise? Yeah, I'm not sure where we left off. Alright. So, yeah, okay. So Jacob and Sean need to get on the same page or kind of see where which way that's going. Um, I've obviously not been involved. If I was involved, I'd probably work out works for anyway. <laughs> um, so I'll let you guys continue to push on that. Um, Wix 3 seems to be going along just fine, which is a good thing. Um, and I don't have anything else. We're just kind of like uh, I know a, little, a lot of Wix 4 is just stuck on me, which is unfortunate. I thought I was going to be able to avoid that this time, but didn't quite get far enough through it. Um, and 
Yeah, and so I'll, and then Sean and Jacob just need to find the time energy to solve that thing. Anything else people want to talk? It's all about time and energy. Well, yeah. My case is time. I really want to get to it, but my case is just time. Um, I know you guys are busy, so. All right. Anything else people have going on right now? Right now? <laughs> Need to get Wix 4 because I think we're going to end up with a, we have a good set of bugs that we're going to, we're building up against that we're going to try to plow through in the next, you know, a little while from now. So, something to think about as we're getting there. <sighs> Just busy times, busy times. All right. Well, plenty of work ahead of us, and uh, it looks, it's going to be cool. We just need to get a couple more things unblocked. So on that note, uh, thank you for attending Triage, uh, keeping up on our bugs. We had a fun little discussion today on that, that first bug with, with excuse, um, adding and removing users. And uh, two weeks from now, we'll do it again, uh, see what we have to triage. I don't think I'll have a whole lot more on Wix 4, given I don't have a lot moving on. So it'll probably be another one of these generally short meetings. Um, if you guys don't have anything else, going, going, gone. All right. We'll see you in two weeks. Later. Bye. Bye.